Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the issue where you're getting an issue accessing web pages and it says that you cannot connect to the primary DNS server. So hopefully this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to begin by opening up the start button just by left clicking on it one time and just type in CMD into the start menu. You want to locate the best match, just right click on it and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control window, left click on yes. Now into the elevated command line window, you want to type in N-E-T-S-H space I-N-T space I-P space reset. Then just hit enter. Give it a second to run here. Once it's done that, you want to type in N-E-T-S-H space WinSock space reset, hit enter. Now I would recommend after it says you must restart the computer in order to complete the reset, I would suggest you heed that advice and restart your computer. Now if you do restart your computer and that has not resolved the issue, there is one further thing I would recommend trying and that would be to go and head over to the wireless icon or the Ethernet icon down the bottom right corner of your screen. Just right click on it one time and then left click on Open Network and Sharing Center. So this will work or that method will work when I'm showing right now on Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10. So it really shouldn't be that complicated. So you want to left click on change adapter settings on the left side here. And now whatever your network is, and it should be the obvious one, it should have like green lights next to it, it should be the only one listed here. Right click on it and then left click on properties. So now once all the properties have shown up here, underneath Internet Protocol version 4, you want to just left click on that one time here and then left click on properties. So in this area right here you want to select obtain an IP address automatically. So make sure it's set to automatic for both and left click on OK. Click close and again I would still suggest restarting your computer and also try a different web browser as well. It could also be that the website or that web page is down. So you're more than welcome to go ask a friend to go check it out on their computer and see if they're able to access that web page. Because sometimes it's not actually your computer that's having the issue, it's the external server you're trying to connect to. And that's pretty much completely out of your control. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.